So Ronnie, welcome to Shark Tank. Yeah, we're on the set. We're yeah. in the lounge area. That makes up. You're liking noise. it? Yeah, I think it was a fantastic day. Really. Is it true that you saw the vision first of bringing Shark Tank to India, and there's rumor around there that you used to own the rights for this in India? Shark Tank rights I bought for three years, and like anything else, I couldn't convince the broadcasters at that time. They thought it was a very niche project, and then I realized actually that if you're a producer, you can't be a shark. So then I kind of lost interest, and then three years had passed, so I get the rights. So are you investing outside Shark Tank right now actively, or no. just up grad? No, so think, yeah, the focus is really. I want yeah. Right now, I think my resources are resources. This resource, this resource, and this resource. All three resources are going into um, skilling and up grad, and so they expand. But now that you just went through a day of Shark Tank and seeing these entrepreneurs pitches. Are you planning to change your decision? No. Do you think you would want to come back here no. next season? No, I mean, it, I would for the particular reason that I think it, it it creates an ecosystem, and if I can help the ecosystem, I'd love to do it. But is that something I want to actively do right now? No, because I think there's enough impact happening in everything that I'm doing, and frankly, the other third part, which I put money in, but hopefully profitably, is still making movies that I think make an impact. Like it. When an entrepreneur comes here to pitch. Should they be looking for the right partner? Should they be maximizing valuation? What would be your advice to the entrepreneurs that are coming in? Firstly, I think let's be very clear: they're coming in here for footage and mileage. Because anyone who keeps offering one percent, two percent, three percent, in a sense, now that's how it's worked out. But that means I've just come here for a token. So the tokenization of their first pitch, I think, does make sense if you ask me. Uh, but that's the good way to start because I don't think they're walking away with that. So that part, I think, in their mind, they can't come in here for a token. I would come here. I would make a statement that I've come here for a specific reason. I want a strategic, or I want a value-added partner, and I'm going to want the value for it rather than this one percent, two percent. That's where I think is one gap in the whole thought. And I think it's a waste of time to have valuation discussions on a live television show because you're not sending that right message. And most of the ideas are so early in the game. Exactly. That it's completely hypothetical to have a valuation discussion. um i kind of feel they somehow sometimes make the wrong decisions yeah uh, which are not they're not thinking long term they're just trying to come here to get another financial investor so this for which i don't think shark tank is the platform yeah right and which yeah. is why i think a lot of my learning over the last 3 years is that do deals where you really would want to pick up yeah. the phone next day morning and help them talk to me about upgrade you know i i'm not going to ask you your age i don't know it myself to be honest <laughs> and i don't but Why upgrade right at this stage? Well, and it seems like you have had more energy than anyone else. Yeah, okay. I mean, for me, a lot of the questions are not why they're why not, right? And I think just why versus why not is really what it is. And I think I got into that. I got into that maybe with a different. I didn't realize maybe I was going to be that involved. I didn't know I was going to get as sucked in. But isn't that for you for with most of the things? No, no. I think I wanted to keep that balance. Maybe right now it's taking a lot, but I forgot. What it takes for the first ten years of any organization, and how you can't sit on the outside and really do that. It's a little bit like profit and not for profit. I think it's a little bit about either you're in or you're out. Mm. There's no such advisory capacity. So, but but I think we're I'm in a happy space because I think uh, in the long term this is real grunt work, which I feel maybe. So there's mixed feelings right now uh, about the fact that maybe at this stage and age. Is it sucking up too much of my time? Is the ROI is not financial? I think it's more about. I'm not saying impact like how many learners and how many people and how many million people. But I, I feel right now I'm at that cusp where I need to do a 10-day bypass now about <laughs> the next 10 years of my life. And do you think you're still learning too? Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. I'm not getting challenged enough, but I am learning. Okay, I'm going to ask you challenge. a difficult one. Of course, I have learned many things from you. What are the one or two things you've learned from me? <laughs> no, you no, can no, say no. nothing. No, 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 no. I think, I, I, no, no. I think <laughs> Just I think like to make it a little bit crispy. No, 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 not at all. I think, I, I think your clarity of thought is very strong. Your clarity of thought is very, very strong. And and your focus, whether it's to technology, whether it's to what you want to do, the scale. Second, the the longevity of your thinking and your ambition is quite well articulated. And I think if you look at the The 30, 40, 50 entrepreneurs today that are shaping the future of the new economy here, of which definitely you're one of them, you're very different. Mm. And 
to me that strikes out mm. it stands out it stands mm. out i think we extremely modest about it humble about <laughs> it but also very proud about it no thanks thanks I, and i i, I want to end this by saying you know i've learned a lot from you you know one of the things that i've learned from very early days is the importance of building culture and communication saying the right things at the right time i still remember when we were pretty much out of money and your advice to me is move everybody to a single floor and create that culture and that kind of like worked as a magic for us but i think that whole art of communication yeah. language uh how to deal with things how to say things because everything gets created and destroyed in language i've learned from you i was a very impatient person i'm still impatient but i know i've learned a little bit about what to say when and where and how to get everybody motivated so that's been a big learning and i'm still learning and you know shark tank is all about learning so that was ronny scruwala on shark tank and i'm privileged to be here with him sharing the tank <laughs>